Hey guys, I am back from Nam. You've seen my latest vlogs that I did, my coverage of Nam. I had a lot of fun, but now it is time for me to get back to some tutorial videos. So what I'm gonna talk to you about today is how to create a mix template in Cubase. Let's jump into it. But first, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to share. Now, I am working on the mix right now, and I am done with that mix, and I need all the same mix settings to import into another session that I worked on. So there's a couple of ways I can work this out, and this is what I wanna show you. Um, I actually did a video not too long ago about uh, track archives. Um, and I had a question from one of you guys asking me about uh, if you create a track archive and there's some audio or MIDI files on the track, uh, will it save the audio and stuff? So um, I wanna answer that question at the same time in this video, okay? So now I have my session open, okay? The song is mixed and I have a bunch of plugins on my session, you know, as inserts, as a sense, you know, the mix, uh, all of my uh, mix buses and stuff, everything is there. Now I need to import this, all these settings, all these plugins in my next session, the next song I'm going to mix. It is the same uh, genre of music I'm mixing. It's the same project, so I need the same settings. This one is a jazz song, um, so I am going to save all these uh, settings and import them in my new session. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do this. First, we can create a mix template, and we can also work with track archives. Okay, I'm going to show you both, and I'm going to tell you which one I use and when I use them. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to back up my project and get rid of all the audio because I don't want to import the audio files, all the events into my new session. Okay. I want to import only the plugins, only the tracks without the audio. Okay. So what I do, I just, uh, in my case here, I'm going to select all, I'm going to click on delete. I'm not going to save the project. Okay. What I'm going to do instead, I'm going to back up the project. I'm going to go on file and back up project. I'm going to select uh, a folder I'm going to back up the project in and I'm going to click on open and now I'm going to name that project to template and then I'm going to check remove unused files okay because now I deleted the files but they're still in the pool so what this is going to do is uh, it's going to create a backup without the audio files okay whatever is not into my session is not going to be uh, transferred into that um, that backup, okay? Um, so do not backup videos and remove unused files. I click on OK, and there you go, it's backed up. Now you see my uh, name has changed here. If I click on Control P, um, I have my pool. I just want to make sure I don't have any files in there, and we're good. Okay, so this is our blank mix session, okay, my mix template. Uh, session. Okay, so all of my all of my plugins are uh, loaded. Okay, I and I just don't have all the audio and MIDI files, whatever I had in my project before, is not there because I don't need them. I don't want to transfer and copy these files into the new session. So at this point, what I'm going to do is um, first I'm just going to bring that to the same height. Okay, so all the tracks they look the same. They have all the same size. Um, what I did here is the quick Z command okay so you just click on uh, on one of the tracks and you click on Z or Z twice okay and there you go they're all the same size and I just click on the plus sign at the bottom right once and there you go it's back at its original state which is the way I like it um, so uh, what I'm gonna do here I am gonna click on file and uh, save as template so that is pretty simple and I'm gonna call this one mix down mix template all right you know what jazz template and i'm going to click on ok now if i need to uh to use this template what i need to do is to click on new project and then you're going to get the steinberg hub window opening and my uh template is going to be listed down below right here mix down mix jazz temp and I'm gonna cl click on create, and I'm gonna look for a folder. I'm just gonna create one quickly, 
call test and create and uh, I'm gonna click on open and there you go I'm gonna activate that project and I have the same project and it's loading all of the plugins so it might take a while depending on how many plugins you have inserted into your project okay so now my session is loaded this is my new session it's blank I don't have any audio so I what I need to do is just to get into my uh, get my tracks okay and just uh, slide them in. I need to set up the uh, the tempo. Okay, so I, I actually use this um, this technique when I mix an album that I didn't work on, that I didn't record or produce. Okay, so if I get a mix from a client, uh, just to mix uh, a project, um, and I'm gonna use a mix template like this one, and I'm just gonna import the tracks and you know just slide them into their uh, allocated tracks basically so for example these are my tracks okay I could just uh, select whatever I need and just drag them in that case what I would do I would probably drag them on top here I just I would activate and set up this uh, this uh, this divide track list okay and I would just uh, drag them into the session and on different tracks convert import whatever needs to be done and I have all of my tracks and I, what I do is I just drag them into the correct track and that's it you know so top snare um, would just drag this one here and I do this to all the tracks and then I get rid of all the empty tracks and it's all you know it's a bit of work at first but it saves you a lot of time because all of the plugins are loaded and it's a better starting point so I use this technique I use the mix template when uh, I mix an album um, that I didn't record or produce okay that I only have the files so I can import them into a session now in, the, in that case I'm going to use a mix template like this one so now in the case I'm mixing a project that I recorded myself or produced myself and I have the recording session uh, I am going to use a different approach a different technique and I'm going to use the track archive technique okay so let me show you okay so now I went back to my mix template project the one I backed up before at the beginning of the video so I have my empty with without any audio uh, project open with all the plugins uh, inserted okay all all of my mix buses of my routing is done uh, okay so that's my main uh, empty project so now what I'm gonna do here is to select all the tracks that I want to back up okay all the tracks that I want to import so I'm just gonna select all of them and I am gonna click on uh, file and uh, export select selected tracks and I'm gonna click on reference and I'm gonna call this one uh, mix jazz I'm gonna save that and this is all I need for now I'm gonna close this one don't save or save whatever um, this it's an empty project anyway so now that I did the track archive option here it didn't uh, copied all the audio because the audio was in the original project and this is the backup project I created at first okay now I'm gonna open my new project okay the project I'm working on that I am ready to mix so this is my recording project here that I want to mix so what I'm first going to do here is I'm going to do some bit of cleanup before I import the archive tracks and why I'm cleaning that up is because I used a similar template when recording I have a template for recording I have one for mixing but when I do the recording um, I usually have the same mix buses and stuff I don't want to have those mixed up when I import the track archive so I am going to get rid of all of my uh, buses here okay I don't need these I don't need these I'm just gonna keep the audio tracks so that is the only thing I need to do perfect it's a very simple song it's a jazz project uh, let me get rid of this one too all right so now I am ready to import uh, my um, uh, my archive my track archive so I'm gonna click on file import track archive and I'm gonna select my mix jazz XML now it's gonna ask me which of these tracks I want to import into the new project uh, so now I had a few uh, I have like I had like a brass section here so that I don't need on this mix so 
you know what this I don't need uh, the rest I'm gonna keep except for the brass section no that's the base and there you go I click on OK and it's gonna import all of the tracks that were archived so that might take a long time depending on how many plugins you have uh, on these tracks so there you go I have all of my mix buses all of my tracks and what I need to do next is just to copy or just transfer all the files into the correct um, the correct uh, track what I like to do is to use my divide track list right here and uh, just bring these on top okay same for these two and just transfer all these files okay now it's going to be very very easy to reach so all my drums are in the correct track base I'm going to do the same here for the base and so on okay so you do that for all your tracks and there you go you have your tracks loaded into your template so this is basically what I do when I want to import my settings my mix settings into an existing recording project ready to mix okay I'm going to use this approach uh, which is more convenient for me than using a mix template in this case just because I have already all of my uh, my markers set up my tempo set up and uh, in this case I'm not even sure I did all of the um uh, the vocal uh, the vocal correction and stuff I might need to do a bit more editing um, so I don't remember so you know I have all of the uh, the separate events so I just need to select them all and copy them uh, and just move them you know into the correct track and that's it so for me it's way more convenient to do it this way and when I mix an album or a project um, that I didn't record that I only have the tracks I'm gonna start by using a mix template like I showed you earlier um, this is only my approach that's the way I like to work that doesn't mean it's the only way it's just the way I do stuff all right so don't forget to share to like and to subscribe and until next time take care and see you